What's going on, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and we are here with another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire battle video. Awesome. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the Nintendo Switch slash Sun and Moon demo. Those were the top two topics I've been getting via Twitter and YouTube for the past few days, and because of all the news and um, excitement, I haven't posted anything, so I do apologize, but here we are with a Saturday upload. Today's match is against Stephanie, and um, I believe Stephanie, she's still around. She was actually the one that taught me how to Wi-Fi battle, and I'm definitely grateful for having her as my biggest rival slash mentor. Now here we have, my team is looking a little bit different. We are using uh, some familiar faces. If you recall the last Wi-Fi battle video that I posted, I used Arcanine, I used Samurak, I used Registeel, and I used... Um, Thunderous as well. We're going to give these guys another shot here while using Malamar and Gengar. Now, what's interesting about Malamar is Malamar is Choice Scarf in this battle. And you're like, who runs, who runs a Choice Scarf Malamar? I don't know. I really do not know who could run a Choice Scarf on a Malamar. Malamar's speed is not that high, nor it's not very low. It's like in the mid-80s, so it might surprise a few people. And uh, Gengar is the substitute life orb variant as well, but you guys know the rest of my team if you saw my last video. On Stephanie's side, yes, she does have Blaziken. Yes, it has the Protect and Speed Boost, which is banned, but it's okay because it's like, you know, we're close to sun and moon. It will not matter in the long run. And by the way, I do have answers for it, so don't go complaining that she's playing by the not by the official rules. It's okay for this battle. In addition to Blaziken, she has Rhyperior, Mega Lopunny, Sylveon, Zoroark, and Pikachu. So, this will be a really fun match. I hope you guys do enjoy it. And we got some background music, so this is going to be amazing. She's going to start with Blaziken, and I'm going to begin with Kronos, the Choice Scarf Malamar. She goes for Protect on turn one, which is fine by me. I go for the Choice Scarf Cycle Cut. She does not know that I am a Choice Scarf at this point, so I'm free to use another Cycle Cut unless she goes into Zoroark. But she goes into uh, Sylveon, which actually does take a Cycle Cut relatively well there. And if I stay in, I might not KO Sylveon from that range of HP, so expecting a Moon Blast, I'm going to go into Registeel to pretty much dodge it. Uh, we did not use Registeel at all in the last video, it didn't quite work out in our favor. But this is a choice banded Registeel. I go for Earthquake, I thought she was going to Baton Pass or Switch Out physically into Rhyperior or something, but she pulls off a Protect, that's fine. She does go into Zoroark, not disguised, which I thought was interesting, but she does have it. Zoroark is quite frail, and she misses a Focus Blast. As we all know, it's called Focus Miss. I really hope that in Sun and Moon, they change the, um, the mechanics of that move. It's just not working out for everybody. Now she does bring back a Blaziken. I don't want to get hit by a Flare Blitz or a High Jump Kick. I was expecting a Flare Blitz. And she does go for that, which is great because Spitz, the Arcanine, has Flash Fire. Now she could go for the High Jump Kick, so we're going to switch out again. A lot of switching going on right now, but it's okay. We're going to go into Shadow Lark the Gengar, but she goes for Protect. Uh, I'm not really sure why she did that. That's fine by me. 
Here she goes reveal the Pecan Pass. You don't see that very often on Blaziken. It's a unique strategy that kind of works at, uh, in most battles, but it probably will not work. Just saying. Because I go for Shadow Ball, we lower Sylveon's special defense, which is great if she's going to stay in. A Sludge Bomb is going to easily finish off Vance Joy the Sylveon. So it kind of worked? I don't know. But come on past your speed into Sylveon, it just doesn't work. Sylveon needs to have max speed, which a, a couple of trainers out there, they do invest in speed a little bit, but not all of it. Okay, so Blaziken is going to go for Protect. I actually did expect that, so I go for a Substitute right there. And it's like, wow, I don't think Stephanie expected that outcome. But yes, we do have Substitute. So now she has to break that sub with a Flare Blitz or uh, like a Hidden Power. She cannot go for High Jump Kick because I am unique. Uh, I am immune to that move completely. There we go. And yeah, so Switch Bomb is actually going to finish off Blaziken. I'm not sure how good Blaziken is on the special side, but we do see it. it's just not going to work out. I have Hidden Power Ice. I've got the tools. I've got the tools uh, to handle her Pokemon here. And she does have Stone Edge. I know it's going to KO me from that range. So Shadow Lark, you did a great job in this match. This is going to be great as I can go into... We can go into Samurott because it is a good typing matchup. I could have also gone into uh, Malamar expecting like, her to think that, you know, she can outspeed me. I can... I can go for a superpower now that I'm for a scarf, but no, we're gonna go for a waterfall. I felt like that was a good option there. We all know that Mega Wop Honey is pretty uh, good in general in competitive play with the scrappy ability to hit ghost types, but Gengar is already gone, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go with Thunderous. Guys, Thunderous incarnate form. When you transition into Therian form, it kind of is really frail in the end. I would prefer Therian form though, because it looks cooler and you get a nice raise into the special attack there. But yes, you see there, a Grain Punch isn't... It does damage. It actually does damage when you take a hit and you resist it. I think she was expecting me to go for a Thunderbolt here. Which explains the reason she went into Rhyperior. No, I have Psychic as a coverage option. I'm also Life Orb 2, so I get a nice boost of power. But right here, I actually misclick, and that's going to cost me my Thunderous as a hidden power ice. Plus one boosted. All because I went for that move. I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of clicked a random move. But that's okay, guys. It's okay. Choice Banded Registeel is here. She goes for a Volt Switch. And you know what move we're gonna go for, right? We're gonna go for the Explosion. And that is going to take out Mega Wop Honey, which is amazing. That means that I can go into some other Pokemon after this. So we see Rage Steel go for the explosion. It's the most powerful Pokemon move in the entire game. We got a double gown. It's awesome. I love double gowns. So in the end here, we're going to go into Kronos, the Malamar, Choice Scarf. We will outspeed Pikachu and just finish it off with a superpower. But you know what? She's faster. So I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am a choice scarf. I think Pikachu is that fast. So I'm just saying, you know, choice scarf Malabar it might work in some cases. But right here, I almost got locked out from a Thunderbolt from a Pikachu. So that was a great battle. Thank you, Stephanie. And uh, I do have a couple of more matches to post here, and then I have to look for some more until Sun and Moon comes out. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend thus far, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the hype of Nintendo Switch slash NS slash uh, the Sun and Moon demo. Uh, this is going to be great. The future of gaming is now, and I'm looking forward to it all. So, 
I hope you guys are going to have a great week here. I, you know, next week it's going to be great. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and look out for more Wi-Fi Battle videos. All right, have a great week, you guys. Bye.